Bones is really at its heart about a group of people who form a very tight community, almost a family, definitely a tribe. And uh, when we flash back to um, the first time Booth and Brennan work together, that family does not yet exist. So what we wanted to do was set up those lines so that it would, uh, so that the uh, fans of the show would say, "Oh, they eventually go this way. They eventually go this way," um, and and hope that it has its own kind of integrity. But the you know uh, they are far they are far apart in the. Um, uh, flashback episode in the first case ever. They're all pretty far apart from each other and I hope by the end of it you think it's going to take a year but these people will get together again. The hundredth episode um, occurs when Sweets um, runs his book that he's been writing on Booth and Brennan uh, by them um, and they come in to tell him that he is mistaken about a very important point. Um, and uh, to, in order to explain to him what they have to explain to him, they have to go through their first case together. That happened about a year before the pilot. And when we did the pilot, the idea was, let's not go through the whole rigmarole of them meeting each other and feeling each other out. They know each other, they have opinions about each other, there's a lot of conflict, and off we'll go. And there's a reference, a very fast reference in the pilot to a previous um, uh, case that we had to go back and see what I'd written in there and what made the, uh, not only what I'd written, but what made the final cut on the pilot and what we knew. And we knew a few things. We knew that she thought he was um, arrogant, that he didn't much like her, but admired her work. We knew that Zach, uh, her assistant, did not like Booth at all. Um, and then um, they had, um, you know, our people at the, um, uh, in the Bones office go through all the scripts about the past for everybody to try and figure out what would make sense, who could meet who, when. And that was just going to be a lot of fun for a hundredth episode. Because, you know, after five seasons, um, um, the, our, our uh, audience knows these characters. And if it's fun for us to see them meet for the first time or interact for the first time, um, then it, we think it would be fun for the audience. Zach is one of my favorite characters that I've ever created. He's, he's based on um, a very good friend of mine back home in Canada, a physicist. And he's played by pretty good friend of mine. Should I go like that? Uh, he's played by a pretty good friend of mine, Eric Milligan. I, I, I love the character and it's really, it was really fun to have him uh, come back and interact with the original version of Brennan. The two, Zach and, and Brennan interacting a year before the pilot is, it's like watching robots converse. It's really, it's fun. What with Twitter and the message boards, you get a lot of feedback. <laughs> A lot of feedback from the audience, and I think if we tried to do a, um, a flashback episode and didn't bring Zach in, uh, I don't want to get yelled at that much. I've always said that Hodgins and Angela belong together, and I've always said Hodgins and Angela will be together. It's just that they're going to have to go through some times to get there, and we're going to watch them go through it.